What's up everyone and welcome back to Unwind and Replay. We unwind with new games and replay old ones. So the last thing we played was uh, Neo Replicant version 1.22, what is it, 47448739, dot dot dot, um, aka square root of 1.5. And for me personally, there were just too many issues, uh, so I kind of opted against going back for Route C. I, I would have liked to see the story of Kaine, but whatever. Uh, I needed uh, something different. So we are gonna dive right into something new, old, that uh, I suppose uh, depends on your personal stance. To me, it is completely new. So, welcome to Let's Unwind with Quantum Break. Yeah, uh, Control was actually a bit of an eye-opener for me in terms of third-person action, uh, some RPG elements as well. Uh, definitely one fucking awesome game. And so basically, my wife told me why not play a bit of Quantum Break. I see someone smiling over there. Um, say hi, Alma. Hi, Alma. <laughs> there. Uh, so, uh, completely new to me, so I'm guessing normal difficulty should serve the purpose quite well. Let's see what happens, shall we? I'm gonna get out of the way here for a bit. Ah! The number one number killer one is time. time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course. Time travel is involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother Will was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Riverport University. Here we are. Hmm. Hey. Thanks for the ride. No problem. Riverport University. You'd been Here away I for come. six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. I see there's an access invitation in the game. Uh, give me a second, I need to change that because I actually have that. Um, huh. How do I switch that? Ah, there maybe. Hopefully. Uh, controller 
invert vertical camera. Oh, wait, but I have a global inverted. Ah, let me, there, let me try this. No. Ah, okay, I see. Okay, that was my error. I'm just gonna quickly uh, go ahead and change it in the go game for now. And then, um, uh, change it to global, uh, later. All right, let's, uh, go meet Paul. And who are you, sir? Paul. Is that? That's a Jägermeister. Well, it's a, it's a cheap knockoff, but it kind of has a bit of a resemblance. Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for... Uh, it's just whatever doesn't even matter anymore. I'm... I'm yeah. All right. My he, daddy's out here. He Better seems... The campus. He hmm. seems very, very... I meet him at the physics building. Articulately challenged. Anywho, uh, I'm back. What's up, everyone? Whoa. Jack. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right. You'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Uh, I think we're not gonna read through all those letters, uh, but we're gonna try to, well, find them. Now, he said when we get to the courtyard, look right to the Fancy physics building. That looks like a fancy physics building. Well, maybe not necessarily like a physics building, but it does look fancy, so there's that. Hey, yes. it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Burning the midnight oil? You just waking up? Protests seemed like a lost cause. Made me sympathize with the students. Can we talk to them? If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you could just ask me. Uh, well done. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? I would not like that. Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. You want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Uh, we definitely want to know why. Go ahead, check out the chart. Oh, I, I have to move, I see. Ah, that's the chart. Monarch solutions, monarch problems. <laughs> cool. Just lurking around. Selling out monarch Riverport since 1999. Research facility. For what? I Bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Oh. 
dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Okay. Every story finds its writer. That looks grim. Return. All of us have two faces. The one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. Okay. Right. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Can we turn on subtitles? Uh, let me quickly check on that. Uh... Audio, not so much. Um, doesn't seem like. Hey, Han, do you remember subtitles? Uh, I, yeah, they were. I'm pretty sure they were there. Uh, um, any idea but, where? Um, okay, not uh, display. Usually they're in audio, but I don't see. Subtitles. Gameplay. Uh, not gameplay. Wait. Should be somewhere. Mm. Display. Well, that yeah, but noise. not really. There. Subtitles. Ah, there we go. There. Thanks, Bon. Oh, of course. Yeah. All right. Good. Hey, protests over at home. Now I'm here, Chief. Mister, that safety whistle. Anything else to be seen or found out here? No. Okay. Well. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Not exactly modest, are we, Paul? <laughs> okay. You made a Let's... long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Welcome home. Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. In here, Jack. 
going up. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. All right. Hey, Jack. Over here. Come on. Going up. I am here, you fool. There's more huh. of this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Proceed toward the lab or take a seat. Right. And where would be... Ah! Come on, Jack. I am about to blow your mind. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive is a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. Okay. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. For the lab, huh? Welcome to Project Promenade. Project Promenade? That sounds interesting to say the least. Oh shit. You guys must have some budget. Indeed. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're going to cut our funding if I don't prove it. It works. What is it? Oh. All right. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. Hmm. I'm the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother. 
but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Aww. I'll pack my things and head to the airport ASAP. Whatever this is about, just make sure Will doesn't know I'm coming home. Not the kind of baggage I need to unpack right now. Right. Okay. But where does this airlock lead? A better question might be, when does it lead? <laughs> well, that's deep. <laughs> so, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm going to run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Did he say chronon condom? Ah, Cronon Condit. That makes more sense. Press L to activate core. We need okay. To keep pushing forward, Jack. Ah. That's just the Cronon Conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're that is to find a out. This good way, question. Corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. <laughs> I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. <clears throat> Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. Okay. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Password. Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for. You're actually going inside that thing, in the machine through time. No. We are. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you are my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Well, let's hit it. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. We will. 
bit ominous, I'd say. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It... It's... <laughs> it's fine. That. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay is calm. interesting. There's two of you. You just fucking multiply. <laughs> Exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking incredible. I mean, just imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen, before they happen, cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Well, that's did impossible. We? That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. Okay. What are you doing? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop him! Shut up! Wait, hold, hold on, the core. hold on! We can't shut it down, Paul's still in there. Well, shut up, look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? Just said or time will end. No, no, no. no, I gotta let you out. Okay. So no. So that's where we get our powers, I suppose. Ooh. Error. That's usually not good when when the display displays that message. Mm. <laughs> you okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. Their voices are distorted and wait, everything is distorted. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. Achievement a lot unlocked a fracture in time. What the fuck is this? We broke. Time. We broke time. That sounds cool though. Is like is something really Lucas and I would do. Okay, that seems to not be the right way. Wait, they said something about map. This can't be real. Okay, map doesn't work in here. Um. Well, no, he he will get out. Okay, and Will went over there, didn't he? And we're supposed to check on her. What the hell? This is crazy. No, this is totally well, cool. Well. What have we done? 
she warned me. I knew she was right. All this time. It's all been avoided. We're too late. Okay. Come on. It's jammed. This wasn't supposed to happen. But fix it all. Stutter. Collapsed. Oh. Can't just start shooting at us. I don't even have a gun. Escape from the lab, okay. Come on! You escaped through the hatch I came in through. I didn't want to leave Paul. But there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Wow. How did they do this? Cool. Jack. You just what just go this way. Move. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, the proximity to the pulse. It, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, field. what I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. <laughs> well, he is speaking I'll try English. To explain, but we have to go. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? The time egg Why is, is there fucked. Egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. How? Well, Over. more of them. Hide. Well, that kind of door wouldn't need security clearance. I mean, they're coming. In here. Okay, please close the shutter. All about this, about the calculations. Uh. I tried to make you listen to me by shoving a gun in my face. Yes, a gun. A universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always Shh. you. Hold up. You're on this side. Okay. You sure you didn't hit that thing in the lab? gone back and tried to get the surface This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Back up some route to flush it out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even. Do you even? I do even. I do odd as well. Fire team, target spotted exiting the service elevator. You heard her. Let's go. You have no context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. 
to speak you don't this. say. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. <laughs> I'd say. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. One of three, wait, oh, that means we missed quite a bunch of n narratives in the, in the first uh, episode? Or... Better at the door thing. All right, let's do the door thing. Will, get out! Oh, God. Target's armed. Opening fire. We're coming down. You have to be noticed. way out of hand i'd used a gun before i'd been in a couple tough spots i never had an army of pro gunmen chase me smg use okay so this is the gun and this is the smg uh 108 okay let's get out of here all right good uh Having an SMG cannot be a bad thing, that's for sure. Not good. Nothing not else to good. find here. The elevator to the lobby. Oh, there is something to find here. Ha! Always positive that the experiment would work. But the figures were correct. What the? Because the specialists were a bunch of goddamn idiots. Their formulas were missing these variables entirely. You're seriously making corrections right now? Well, if they made them in the first place, we wouldn't be here. You've just initiated a quantum ripple. Watch the next episode of the show to see the consequence of your action. The f what? Um, sure. Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Raider team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. We must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. I can see something. Ha. Huh. All right. Two or three. Huh. Jack. Something here. 
Yeah, you shush. Nope, nothing here. Nothing there either. Okay, well then let's uh Ah, we have unlimited ammo on the on the handgun, I see. Okay, good. Uh so I no. guess Come on. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I I need we need to get to my car. Okay, just just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory. I built something for such an event years ago. Finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Um... Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Say so. All right, I think we properly de weaponized those guys. That can only be a good thing. We don't know how long this will last. Let's go. Where's your car? This way. I'm getting a feeling we do not like Monarch. You shut up and give me your gun. There. Why can we not just punch them in the face while they are like frozen on time? That would be a good idea. That would be something we should do. You said you were prepared for this. You knew it was gonna happen. How? It's wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Well, there were only three things to find in this um, episode, but... You should go in first, just in case. He's tricking us, isn't he? You should go in first, just in case. Stuff is collapsed. For now. Okay. Oh no, no! My car. They're patrolling the parking lot. Oh God, that's it's. Okay, okay, Will. Calm down, okay. I'll take care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you 
you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. <laughs> Here, you'll need the keys. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. Okay, let's be careful. That sounds like a good idea. Now. Okay, can we stay in hiding for now? Press Y to activate time vision to locate enemies, hazards, and items. Time vision deactivates when you move. Okay. What the hell? My powers Ooh. were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. There we go. All right, where's your car, Will? Ah, no, we don't want that. I think I'm gonna stay with the assault rifle versus uh, an SMG. Time echoes. When you see the time vision icon blinking, press Y to reveal hidden time triggers. I could see what? an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. All right, that was over there, right? Ah, I see it. Ooh, this is so cool. I hope I got him not too late. late. That's... I'm seeing the past. Okay. So how do we know which one is his car? Um, of course the one he got out of Jens, think, think Jens. Okay, that's the same, same thing, go. thing again. Oh! oh shit. Tap right bumper to cast the time stop. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. You don't know what you're doing. Well. Fuck. Coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back. I swear to God, if you heard him!
they surrounded me. Damn it. All right, that was. Whew. So that was our first death. Um, okay. Whoa. I hope they got it not too late. That's. Right, okay. It's in the past. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back to him. Fast. Where's the guy? You heard him. Control. Anything else that I should be watching out for? Nah, just the backpacks with ammo. Alright, that was not so bad. One death uh, at the very beginning of a game, but uh, we're gonna count that as okay. Taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. All that right. Was the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Hello, Will. Beth. And we're in Act 1, Part 3. Okay, so that's what they call it. Acts and Parts. Okay, good. Now. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. It's supposed to take William, William Joyce, Joyce alive, alive if he doesn't put up a fight. fight. Please, Please, let me go. Let me go. I can I shut the shut hell up. Just shut the fuck up, alright? The boss said to take him to the lab. Wants to deal with this one first. Well, <laughs> tap left bumper to time dodge. Okay. Wow, cool. Shit.
gotta get to the library. That's where we're taking them. Now, where do I get ammo for my... AR, huh? Seems like the AR is Gotta not necessarily jack. the best choice for this first part. We have 66 rounds left. Mm. But we have SMG ammunition in abundance. So, <sighs> tough choice. Uh, I'm gonna go with the SMG for now. Okay. Now what's happening? What? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. a lot of them. He's under those stairs. That is not a big deal currently. Anything interesting to see here? Not so much. There's some guys there. Good. Gotta get to the library. We are good. Um, we're good on ammo as well. Now there was something to see here. Heavy pistol. Hello, heavy pistol. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Only. Ah, I see. Four round magazine. The other one had. Like eight or six or something? I don't know. Is that all? Yeah. I have to reach well before it's too late. Seems to be all. Why are you taking here? It's a library. 
I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took me to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Obvious choice then. There's gotta be another way in. Right. Not the obvious choice. Um that thing? Nope. Where did that come from? again ah cool all right Your steps. Apparently, I cannot see through walls with this. This is Airlift Prime. We've got the time machine core in transit. Hey, hands where I can see. What the hell is going on around here? That is a very good question indeed. Um, aha. Wait. All right. This is, wow. I see, that's on the lower floor. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got over. I wonder where the brother is. The skeleton crew that wait for arrival of Monarch action. Everybody else needs to reunite at the dry docks corner and extraction grounds. Wait for further orders there. Library uh. is set to blow in five minutes. <laughs> Library is ready to blow. Now? That's a bunch of them. Press B to create a time shield that deflects bullets. 
Wow. Okay. God damn. Right? I need to try something. I see. I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need to switch uh, keys on that, that's for sure. Usually for me, B is dodging and... Uh, I can easily see myself putting the shield on a left bumper. I will see. Okay. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. <laughs> no, Jack, I need them. <clears throat> Hold that thought. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think this stuff had to be before. I was a little busy getting kidnapped. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. How the hell are you staying alive? That's part of the messed up shit I need explained. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. Time's come up with one. I think they changed their minds. First ammo and now. Whew. Okay. We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trust somebody. Dard. And also, I like this. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. All right. more of them show up which uh, I have a feeling they will Jack. who's serene okay huh? Jack 
We gotta go. Hold on. What the? Whoa. Paul, what happened to you? What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. Uh, I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years. It was you. The first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. Oh, okay. So he just killed my brother. What? Okay. End of Act One. Right. Skip. I don't know, nothing is happening. I guess... Ah! Something is happening. Wait, is it? Continue. Well, maybe there's like a way to save there. Aha! Cutscene. Huh. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. Huh. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. Okay. You Hello. Can't any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions, potentially turn on Monarch. Alrighty. I think this is a good point as any. So, this is fun, I like this. I think uh, we're definitely gonna keep going with this one. So, um, please do leave some feedback in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the Act 2, Part 1, very, very soon. Bye-bye.